guys, what's up? This is Place the Move and it is time for another movie review. This time I will be reviewing the movie 1408. Now before I talk about the movie itself, I am going to tell you how I became aware of it. Now I have mentioned Chris Stockman many times before in my videos. He's a fucking awesome reviewer and one of my favorite movie reviewers on the internet. He made a fucking awesome video on the movie. And I highly recommend you check it out. A link to it is in the video description below. But I must warn you though that his video contains a lot of spoilers. But this review doesn't, don't worry about that. Anyway, without further ado, let's dive in. This movie is about a haunted hotel room. Now I'm gonna start by talking about the protagonist of the movie, Mike Anslin, played by John Kusa. Now he is basically a writer and a very smart guy. And I also can tell that he is an atheist. He doesn't believe in ghosts or any of that shit. So when he heard that the hotel room is haunted, he didn't believe it for a fucking second. And you know what? It makes sense that he doesn't believe in that stuff. Overall, a fucking awesome character and I cared about him throughout the movie. Now the hotel manager is Gerard Olin, played by Samuel L. Jackson. Now this is an absolutely fantastic performance by Samuel L. Jackson, which isn't a surprise and Samuel L. Jackson's performances are almost always great. But yeah, he plays as this manager and this very fucking word that something bad is gonna happen to the protagonist. And you know what? He has legitimate reasons to be worried. And I see where he's coming from. Now I'm gonna talk about the protagonist's wife, Lily Anslin played by Mary McCormack. She's a very good wife and is willing to help both the protagonist if she can. Enough said. Now that I'm done talking about the characters, I am going to talk about how scary this movie is. Now the hotel room is haunted, which is a very fucking creative concept for a movie. A lot of crazy shit is happening in this movie. Now crazy shit happening in a movie isn't automatically scary. In fact, it's sometimes stupid, but it's not stupid in this movie because it makes sense that all that crazy shit is happening. The hotel room is haunted after all. Anyway, another thing to note about that is the fact that I knew that this was not Mike's imagination. All the crazy shit happening was all real. How do I know this? Because he doesn't believe in the supernatural or any of that shit. So why would he imagine something like that? He wouldn't, obviously. And the fact that all the crazy shit that's happening in the movie is all real is exactly what makes this movie so fucking scary. Because it makes me worried that the protagonist is gonna get hurt even more. Oh, and another thing to note about this movie is the fact that it shows a lot of fucking flashbacks. And those flashbacks are caused by the haunted hotel room. Now there is so much more that I can talk about regarding this movie, but I think I'm gonna wrap it up right here, since I already said everything that I needed to say. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. Honestly, it's one of the best horror movies released in recent years. What the hell am I saying? This movie was released 10 fucking years ago. It's far from recent. But it doesn't just the fact that this is a fucking awesome horror movie. And for that I'm going to give the rating 2 thumbs up. Well guys, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.